damn sure would love me. All right, what's up guys, this is Josh, back with another video. I just wanna say quick before we actually get into the tutorial of this very, very simple effect from both DaVinci Resolve and Adobe After Effects, I just wanna say that over 60% of you guys are not actually subscribed to the channel yet, so make sure to drop a sub, it is 100% free for you guys to do, and you can change your mind at a later date. But that being said, all the timestamps will be in the descriptions for both software, so make sure to skip ahead to those if you are here for a specific software. Hope you guys enjoy the video. All right guys, so for this, all we gotta do is just import a song and a clip. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag in the clip. We're gonna kind of find the beat drop right around here. I'm gonna turn the volume down real quick. Right, here's the beat drop, so we're actually just gonna press M, add a marker. Let me just make sure. The marker through frame before that. All right, so we'll just kind of cut this area off right here. Uh, what we're gonna do right now is we're just going to trim the area kind of before this right here, and we're just gonna press Alt and drag it down just so we have a duplicated layer. You can hear it's kind of like an echo effect. That's fine. Uh, you can mute it if you want to just preview it without it. And all we gotta do is we're just gonna find our marker point right here. We're gonna select our clip up here. We're going to just kind of select the area right around the clip that we want to use. Drag it in. We'll actually just shift this all down an audio track. I'm actually going to line this all up right around here. So this will obviously be the part we want to use. Let me quickly just extend that out just a bit. So that way the magnet is not messing this up. And something like that should be good. All we gotta do now is just add our velocity. Just the standard velocity I do for all my videos. Just unlink your audio, go into your retime controls, just like this. Add a speed point on the kill. Go back to when we completely edit the ramp and pull out our shotgun. Go in between. And obviously it doesn't have to be the ramp because like not every clip is gonna be the exact same. So like kind of if it like full boxes someone, you see them like pull out a shotgun or something like that. Kind of where there's not a lot of movement is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, just do something like this, 200%, 50%. Or 50%, 200%, 50%, just like that. Should be good. Should end up with a Nothing crazy, obviously. Now we're actually going to do the stuff with the audio. Um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into our Fairlight tab. And right here, you can see that we have a lot of different channels. So this third audio channel is the one that we're actually going to want to modify. So for this, we're going to go to EQ right here on the side. We're going to select A3. And then for this, we're literally just going to drag this up right here. Kind of drag this over a bit. And then drag this one right down around underneath the number four. So what it should sound like, if I mute this right here. You can hear that it's kind of like an underwater audio already and that's pretty much like the simple way of doing it but what we're gonna want to do is kind of just fade this in a bit and then you can get rid of this and then kind of crossfade that oh this is muted but yeah that's pretty much that all we gotta do we're gonna do some like little mini uh finishing touches we're gonna add on soft clipper just onto this just x out and then we're also going to do noise reduction x out of that and then we're going to select this go into our effects and right here for the makeup we're actually just going to drag that down to a negative six and then for this one we're going to change this one to a negative six and this one to a negative six as well that way we're, they're all set to negative six and then just like that if you want you can increase the audio levels just a bit it makes it a bit quiet I don't think I think the noise reduction might be a bit too low so let's just up that just a tiny bit just to like maybe negative three yeah that should also be fine like if you want to make it a bit higher you can just make it like negative one all right that should be good we're just gonna save that and then obviously from there you just add your impacts i have a lot of new impacts in my edit packs if you want to pick that up let me quickly just show you what one looks like and we're just gonna drag an adjustment layer up above just like this and then we'll cut this down right here go into the fusion tab and then obviously um we'll get one of the presets from the pack so let me just find that da vinci impacts let's just say clean or let's just say god new rgb impact for example we drag that in and then we would um i don't know why oh i went into the adjustment 
for the wrong thing. Shoot. Let me just really quickly get that, delete that. Go to the actual fusion tab right here. Perfect. And then we'll just drag it in into this one right here. Disconnect, connect to these. And we can see that we have a super clean impact already. If you want to pick it up, my edifact is only $5. It is definitely worth it. And it has like cool impacts like this. It'll make your montage just go from like a 1 out of 10 to a 10 out of 10 instantly. But I hope you guys did enjoy this. A cool little thing you could do with this that kind of matches up with the audio effect that I just showed you. It's kind of like a VHS. So if you wanted to, you do something like this go from before the kill to the kill just like this you can go to your open effects and you could go like vhs or something like this drag on your uni vhs and then you could go to effects go to browse presets i do the sv svhs studio and then i don't know if you want to you can like fade it in up to you all right shoot you don't want to fade in this side just fade in this side and just like that that's like a super clean underwater audio effect in davinci resolve hope you guys did enjoy that i'm gonna move on to after effects and i'll see you guys over there all right guys i'm in after effects now all we gotta do just make sure you have your song and your clip up here um the first thing we're gonna do is we're just going to expand the audio levels on our song we're pressing l and it for twice we're just gonna find the first beat right here which is just this one here and we're just gonna add a marker to it so you can just go up here to layer markers add marker i have a key button but i'm just not gonna set it just gonna trim it on the side trim it on the side just like this and then we'll just drag this to the beginning right here and what we're gonna want to do is just trim your audio kind of like this yeah, trim it like this and then you can kind of have and then maybe just like that and then you could extend this a bit just so it's kind of like that or you could just do it either or there's two different ways to do it but i'm going to show you how to just do it with uh with the cut part in the middle uh just select your clip right here we're going to select this arrow thing on the left side to select the part of the the clip that we want to actually use and what we're going to do is we're just gonna select either side just like this, drag this over top, and then kind of line up our kill. Just like that. Drag it on the left, go like that. And then right here, we're actually going to add our highlights velocity. So for me, I'm just gonna do this. This is actually in my edit pack. So if you wanna use this uh, preset, you can just pick up my edit pack. We're just gonna press U on our keyboard. Let it load. I'm gonna say invalid or buffer size record res. My after effects is bugging right now, I don't know what's whatever. For some reason the preset's not working. Well, that's interesting. Um let me just do something like the normal texture velocity instead. We'll use that. We'll drag this over. Just like that should be good and then obviously what you guys came for is the underwater audio effect so we're just going to select this little audio track right here we're going to press control space or if you wanted to you could just come to effects and presets over on the right side but what i do is i just go press control space and i look up high low pass add that to my clip what we're going to do is we're going to change this to low pass we're going to keyframe at the beginning our cutoff frequency to 20 thousand just like this and then we're gonna go like maybe 30 frames after change it to 400 and what that'll do is it'll have the auto underwater audio effect just like that and then obviously you would add your impact just right here so if you want to take just go like this and then just add i don't know some random impact right here like if you want to do something i don't know like this random amount of shake or something like that i have impacts in my head of packs so, sure so just like that and then if you wanted to to actually increase the effect of this build up you can go something like this add like uni vhs to your thing right here and then you could do something like i don't know like s vhs studio keyframe the blend with original right here at the beginning at 100 and then go right here and make it like zero and then wait I'm not sure. 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 I'
But like it's a super clean effect uh obviously being able to incorporate audio effects into your own montages is a great skill to be able to do kind of just like immersifies or changes the entire experience for the viewer that is watching your montage but if you guys did enjoy feel free to drop a like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in a future tutorial feel free to give me some comments down below as to what you want to see on the channel in the future in terms of other tutorials but uh yeah i'll see you guys later and uh peace out boys Hop inside an Audi, then I did the dash, dash. Shawty know I only care about the cash, cash. Big bones, big sticks, big rash. She asked me how I got it, said I got it like that. I get it when I want it, smoking marijuana. Keep it hotter than a sun, smoking till the sun up. They asked me if I have bands, I said bring your funds up. They tested me to a chunk, and they didn't show up. Where they at though? How about at your party?